the analogy is very nicely explained by the water level and the rocks below the water level. Now this analogy was used by Tai Chi Ono to explain where to focus on. So he said, as I keep reducing my container lot size, the disruption to flow will appear in terms of rocks, in appearance of rocks. And these rocks are nothing but as the water level keeps going down, these rocks surface. And whichever rock surfaces, that is the place to attack. And the way to attack is to ask why five times. So there was a systematic method developed how to tackle the obstacle to flow. Now, if obstacle to flow was setup change, he said that please understand that the time of setup or the setup time is not cast in stone. By that he said it is not constant and please work on reducing it. And he worked diligently to prove that the more number of setups we do, the better the flow and less of the inventory. And the final impact of these two was the reduced lead time or better throughput for the system. He attacked scepter times in a different way. And he attacked it so much that Toyota developed a focusing mechanism or a solution to set up times. He didn't say stop doing setup change. He said make sure that the time for setup change keeps reducing. And it was this aim that forced Toyota to go deep and come up with a lot of work on set on setup time changes which has now brought most of the setup time changes in Toyota to few minutes. Now one of the biggest factors was that after achieving this setup time in minutes, what was done with the time available? If the time available was used to do more production, one can infer that cost was one of the driving factors. That means, setup is a cost and if I reduce my cost, that means I reduce the time for setup, I have more time to produce more. That means the quantity of production should have gone down. Sorry. That means the quantity of production should have gone up. But all this time saved by reducing the time taken to do setup change was used in doing more setups. That means using more number of setups. This goes to prove that Tai Chi Ono was not driving cost down. He was primarily focusing on increasing flow. But when you look at many other companies who have benefited by using such systems from Toyota, the reason why they have not been able to replicate the productivity of Toyota or the profit making ability of Toyota is these improvements were looked at from cost reduction initiatives. And these cost reduction initiatives have or have a tendency of reaching very quickly to a level of diminishing returns. You can go for cost reduction, but they can only go for a certain way and stop. However, if you are trying to focus on improving flow, and as said by Tai Chi Ono, if you are trying to reduce 
the time between when a customer places an order and when you collect the money from him, the returns very rarely reach a diminishing level quickly. So not only that, the Tai Chi Ono forced Toyota to look at setup times in a different way and then work on it to reduce setup times. But what Tai Chi Ono proved was that if we are able to do setup very quickly, please make smaller lots. And these lots improve the flow of material through the system. Ono knew very well that his concept of flow would be doomed if local efficiencies were allowed to be measured. And setup change was one such local measurement. So he got involved very heavily in trying to reduce that. Otherwise, his whole concept of flow would have been doomed. This was his one of his biggest struggle. However, there are many other disruptions to flow. One of the most harmful is overproduction, which by now Kanban was already looking after. Through Kanban, Ono always communicated to everybody that please do not produce something which is not required in the near future. That means produce only that which the Kanban card says. And by reducing the batch size in the Kanban, you are actually asking to produce only what is required immediately. And the pressure was so much that probably initially the same system was called just in time. That means it is forcing you to produce only what is required. It was not wrong to interpret Toyota production system as JIT, but it was not the whole thing. So very soon JIT moved away and Toyota production system was now called lean. However, in trying to implement the concepts of flow, Tai Chi Ono forced two things very heavily. One was setup reduction and batch size reduction. That is why even today, one of the most commonly understood part of lean manufacturing is small batch size and setup reduction. Both these things are sub elements of the bigger concept of flow or rather reduction of setup time and reduction of batch size increase flow. Now Kanban system already being implemented was also used to find out where to focus. Because as we kept reducing inventory, the weaker parts of the flow system got exposed. What do we mean by ex exposure? That means the flow broke. And when the flow was hindered or reduced, the whole output of the system suffered. because everything was dependent and there was very less cushion between one work center and the second or the system was so lean that if one chain broke down or one link broke down, the chain broke down. Now, this is exactly where all other systems come into play. The big drive on quality was not to reduce cost it was to reduce failure of flow. 
because a quality, a bad quality produced actually jeopardized flow. And this is where again a huge focus was done by Toyota production system that make sure that you produce only the right quantity and the right quality because if the wrong quality went in that inventory was practically useless and since there was hardly any cushion the flow would broke down so quality was also an hindrance to flow of material through the system now we have looked after only the material now when the flow is hindered as we discussed earlier if it is material quality looks after but what happens if it is machine the breakdown of machine the reliability of the machine the capability of the machine all these three things add to the reliability of the flow if the capability is not there quality gets impacted if the reliability is not there the flow gets impacted because there's a breakdown now the truth about breakdown is yes it is going to happen the only question is when so all these preventive maintenance tools were brought in place and systematically worked upon by constantly asking why 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 or five times why as we commonly know it so that the breakdowns go down statistics was used to find out what are the chances of this machine failing and if it failed how much time would it take for you to bring it back online but please also understand that if the machine failed it also produced bad quality so material got impacted as well as the flow now in trying to understand tpm or preventive maintenance is to make sure that such damages to flow do not happen and if it is unavoidable we are able to predict with a high degree of confidence when will this happen and this is what is mean time between failure prediction so before the machine failed we are able to take it into preventive maintenance and reduce the time of disruption to flow so quality was focused on because it impacted flow preventive maintenance was focused on because it impacted flow and mind you anything and everything that impacted flow was focused on kaizen 5s if we have stores if we have tools to be used if they are not organized and if they are not clean enough to work they will fail you when they when you require them so when it was found that the worker did not have the tool rightly sharpened to produce the right quantity it, he was told to please make sure that you have it nicely sorted you reach out for a tool it is not in its place so you go around looking for it in the stores please don't do that because it stops the flow of inventory so 5s was used to make sure that it does not disrupt the flow of material that means if the worker was not able to do its job what was the reason was the tool not available was the tool not clean or was the place it was not in the right place or it was not in the right sequence what is sorting sorting does not was never intended to mean that you take a group of material and you sort them this is good this is bad this is not it was never meant to be that 
it was always meant to make sure that you sort what you need in the right order. What you don't need, you remove. Segregation and sorting were confused. But please look at it, look at 5S from the point of view that how will it disrupt the flow. And if any one of the situation forces the worker or the machine not to do the right job at the right time, it was supposed to be set right. All the tools that we see in Toyota production system are primarily done, developed and utilized to make sure that the flow increases. Removal of waste is this, something that is not increasing the flow of the material has to be removed. All these things put together are the building block of Toyota production system. But the guiding principle remains one. How to reduce the lead time. If something is being manufactured in five stages, how to reduce it to two stage? We might be very efficient in every stage. We might have removed waste at every stage. As the practitioners of lean say that first identify the waste in your process and reduce waste. If your process by definition has 10 stages of production and you have identified waste at every stage and removed it, still there is scope of becoming more lean. Instead of producing in 10 stages, try and produce in 2 stages. Why? Because the principles that you are violating by producing in 10 stages is you are increasing the lead time. So if you are looking to go lean, please look at increasing the flow of material through your system. When I say through the system, that means input into your factory and selling of the product to the customer. When the material comes in your system and when the material goes out of your system. If within the system it is moving around, okay, it is not called work, it is wastage. The true work is what the customer is ready to pay you for, that means transformation. People may call it value addition, but it is transformation from raw material to finished goods.